So my starting weight was 150.9 and this morning I was down to 141.6. So down nine pounds, which is pretty crazy. And I'm feeling pretty darn good. It has been 88 hours and 38 minutes that I have gone without food and without water. So today I am breaking my dry fast with some of this. It is time to break it. Honestly, what's really interesting about this fast breaking is that I have done a dry fast before and I think it was like in the 70 hour range. I really think it's important to almost have it be like really take in the moment when you're breaking a fast, a dry fast, a water fast, whatever kind of fast you're breaking. I think it's important to just like really cherish what you're about to consume. Oh my gosh, my cat is being so loud right now. Let me open the door for her. I would show her to you, but she's so mean. I was trying to have a moment there, but seriously, the cat was distracting me. I think it's really important when you break a fast to almost have like a ritual around it, especially if you're fasting a lot. I think it's important to just take a moment, really be proud of yourself for the accomplishment that you have made, for all the health benefits that you have received from your fast. You know, I felt like when I broke my 54 day long water fast that it was more of, I wasn't even hungry. It was more of, I felt like I needed something in my body or, I, or else I was going to pass out. I was just feeling really, really weak and really, really dizzy. And I don't feel that way now. I would actually say that I'm more thirsty in this moment than I was hungry after 54 days of not eating, which is quite interesting. And we always hear that people can't go more than three days without water. Look at me here alive and surviving. Yes, I think it's just really important to do small amounts. So I have uh, approximately four ounces here that I'm gonna start with. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add some baking soda in. Take the time to appreciate the moment. Like for me, I like to be quiet. So I had to open the door for this this mean cat that I'll probably never get to show you because she never lets anyone pick her up. Yeah, you know, get yourself some good naturally sourced water. I would prefer this would be in a glass container, but I'm sorry, I wasn't gonna drive 10 miles to do that. So I should probably stop jabbering and start drinking. All right, I gotta do it for the gram. 88 hours and 41 minutes without water, but here we go, I'm going to enjoy this. Oh man, that's good. I'm not gonna lie though, just doing that on Instagram took took away from the moment a bit. I've never like tasted water, like I've just tasted water. You actually start paying attention. So this is another about five ounces. That tastes good, that tastes really good. But I feel like my body needs everything that's in here, so it tastes amazing. Mmm. I'm back and I have my Bob's Red Mill baking soda. You'll want to use this brand because it's the most pure form. In total, you'll want to consume half a teaspoon of baking soda with 16 ounces of water. First, I'll be consuming half of that. Shake it up so that it dissolves well in your water. The first thing I smelled when I opened the jar was it smelled like tire rubber. So the reason for the baking soda is because your body is super acidic after a dry fast and it just basically helps your pH balance. Doesn't really taste bad at all. All right, so what I'm doing now is I'm gonna go ahead and do a apple cider vinegar and baking soda blend. And this is to um, also just promote some good kidney function as I am breaking my fast here. Two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. And this is absolutely worth trying for anyone that hates the taste of apple cider vinegar. Half a teaspoon of baking soda. And it's gonna start to fizz up like this. And I'm using the Red Mill baking soda still, of course. I'm gonna add a tiny bit of water. So the pH in this is not going to mess up your teeth. It's not the best thing, but it is like 10 times more tolerable than just downing apple cider vinegar. I got to have to literally plug my nose for like two minutes after drinking that stuff and the taste would still be there. Like I used to consider apple cider vinegar more difficult to take than like a shot of tequila. What I just mixed up here, easy breezy. Best way to get down baking soda in addition to apple cider vinegar, in my opinion. If you agree, comment below.